Today we'll be reading Psalms 145, verse 14 to 16. Uh, Who would you? like to start? Okay, I'll read 14. Okay. Similar to 15 and 16. Oh, okay. All right. The Lord helps the falling and lifts those bent beneath their loads. Everyone depends on you. And when the time is right, you provide them with food. Hmm. By your own hand, you to satisfy the desires of all who live. All live what food. can we learn from there? Hmm. So many lessons. Let's start with verse 14, right? Yep. We can start with that. Um, God helps us when we stumble or make a mistake. Yes. Yes. So with God, making a mistake is not... Is not the end of your life. God can help you if you make. And God provides for you. And God provides for you. Yeah. God yeah. provides for us. Um, people, de everyone depends on God. Yes. And when the time is right, he provides us with food. Yeah. That's why we should always pray to God to provide for, for us. Because he is our provider. And by his own hand, he satisfies everyone who desires. Yeah. God satisfies us. So... That means that if there's any need we have, who do we talk to? God. Um, if we are, if we are believing for something, who do we ask? God. Because the Bible says He is able to satisfy. Us. My version says He satisfies the hunger and thirst of every living thing. Mm. Every living thing. That's why some people they don't pray, they don't do anything, but rain still falls, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. They still eat. They are still okay. <laughs> they are not so, sick. Oh, some people might not be okay. Mm, but not all, yeah. right? God God still looks after most, most people, people, everybody. Actually, everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, that's the way. He probably just makes you come sick because of something you did. or. Yeah, but but um, God doesn't actually punish people. It is what they did that punishes them. So, for instance, if you lie now, yeah. it's not like God will punish you for lying. But what God has done is... Anybody who lies, though he has designed the world in such a way that the lie will eventually come around and punish you. <laughs> so if you steal, right, and you keep stealing, guess what's gonna happen? One day you're gonna get probably you're gonna get stored by someone might steal from you. Yeah, you're or gonna you're gonna get caught and you will go to prison. To prison. Yeah. yeah. So God may not necessarily punish that person, but everything has been built to to deal with the person. So, but God loves everybody. Everybody. John chapter 3, verse 16. Hmm. Says, he loves the, the world and he gave his only begotten son. For whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have, have eternal life. So God so loved the world. He loves everyone, right? Mm -hmm. And he gave Jesus to die for everyone. But it is only those who believe in him would have everlasting life. That's why we do evangelism. That's why we pray. But the key lesson here today is that God is a helper. Verse 14 says, He helps those that are falling and lifts people who are down. down. Yeah? And then people who look up to Him, He, Help. he helps them. He satisfies them. He gives them food to eat. Right? So mm -hmm. God is a helper. helper. God is a helper. Whenever we need help, who do we talk to? Ask God. Yes. And we pray to God for help and then give us help. help. Who's Please. praying for us today? Fair in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you for what we learned. Thank you, Lord. Thank you because you are a helper. Yes, and Lord. You help us when we fall. Amen. Amen. Thank you because you lift us when you're down. Amen. When we're down. Amen. Thank you because when we we wouldn't lie or do anything bad. Amen. Amen. It wouldn't cause us to go to prison. Amen. Amen. Thank you because. We'll do the right things and make you happy. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.